Warning, this video is for informational purposes only. Do not repeat at home. Electricity can kill. So in this video I'm going to show you how I extracted the big transformer from the microwave oven and repurpose it for use as a spot welder. I'll show you how I disassembled the transformer and rewired it to give a low voltage and a high current. Then I'll put it back together again. So this is a broken microwave oven. We're going to hopefully take it apart and uh, extract the useful bits. In particular, I'm looking for the transformer. Pardon? Yeah, there'll probably be a fan in there. So, and you know, other bits and pieces. But the transformer is what I'm looking for. Now, it may be a big fail if this is an inverter type machine, um, but I kind of hope it isn't. So let's start taking it apart. I don't know, that is disgusting. I've got to get that food off of there first. I'll do those screws along the case. Hey. Alright, so this is the transformer. Notice I'm not touching it with my fingers yet because there's a great big capacitor here which could well be charged. 2100 volts, that's better. Yeah. Normally, the way these things work is, uh, well not, I don't know if that's normal or not, but what I understand is this would probably be the same number of turns as the voltage coming into it would be. So it's probably about 100 turns or 110 turns, something like that. And this guy is the one that steps up. We're actually going to cut this one off or somehow remove it. We're going to need more than a knife to cut that one off. That's a nice little moat, isn't it? This is so creepy. 60 hertz, 120 volts. That's nice. It doesn't work. Well, it was nice. I destroyed it. Where did I pull that piece off? <laughs> Daddy, mm -hmm. the door won't open. I don't care. Well, I wanted to see how it opens. Oh, there. Okay. Cut that seam off. Okay. Let's do that first. Right. I'm going to get this off, this coil. Mm -hmm. We want to keep it because. The big one. Yeah, the big one. Because that's the primary coil. We need it. So hopefully, I haven't broken it. There it comes. Whereas the other one, we don't care. The don't, little one? Yeah, the little one, we don't care about that. Tape? Come on, you little bugger. Oops. Doesn't look like there's any damage. What is it? I bet there's a rat. Yeah, that'd really make my day, that would. There we go. Trash coil. It's got clean. So what is that for? I'm just trying to remove some of this yuck. If I can. <laughs> So 
So I've got the primary coil in there. I've put the oh, I can't remember what these things are called. Anyway, I put them back in because um, they will actually help with heat dissipation. So I think that's the right word. So this is the it's like a model if you like. I wanted to see how much cable I could get in at a certain thickness. So this is uh, eight millimeters approximately, and I can see, I can get three windings off of there. So I've got some electrical wire. This wire was a, a leftover from a I don't know some other project I did. So I'm going to strip out the cores and uh, hopefully make something useful from it. This is going to be the length of the cable. And I put some nails into this block of wood so I can uh, start wrapping this. See how it goes. There we go. Looks good. It's not too bad. Could have done better, I think. Might have had a smaller, thinner piece. I don't know. It's okay. All right. So I had some difficulty getting this in to back into the uh, transformer so I'm going to take it apart I've straightened it out as you can see it's now back to its straight kind of shape but it's all twisted and whatnot so I'm going to flatten it out again and then I'm going to anneal it because I'm afraid that it's getting kind of hard to bend around. So I'm going to anneal it and then try again. See how we go. So you can bend it easier. Yeah. Little gas bottles just run out. So I found an alternative. I can't be bothered to run up the shops. So after doing the annealing, it's uh, extremely soft. I mean, you can just, you don't need to put any pressure on this and it will bend. And now I wish I'd done that before I started making the first attempt. Now it's also covered in the, in the soot, so I have to clean that off. So to avoid making the same mistake as I did last time, is I've cut this piece of wood. Um, I've used wood because it's soft. I'm going to bend the metal around this. Um, it is slightly oversized from the transformer. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. <coughs> Okay, so I've pretty much got it in here, just about. It's got to be a bit of a tight squeeze. And I also put some card 
put some card around the edges. You can see here. I'm going to try and trim that off a bit more, but the idea is to stop it from uh, shorts shorting out on these sharp corners. Okay, so I've uh, precariously rigged this up. It's not connected to anything. I just want to make sure that, um, well, I don't blow myself up, I guess, when I do get around to using it. So I'm about to plug it in and see what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm scared as hell. Three, two, one. <coughs> Woohoo! That scared me. Okay, that's a good sound. Let me do it again. Three, two, one. good that's what we want it's a bit loud but it's good okay you can go indoors now okay I've got the multimeter set up there I'll zoom in in just a second three two one so I talked about replacing this uh, cable uh, two reasons. Uh, one, I cut it a bit short. As you can see, there's a little stumpy one there, so it's going to be difficult to attach it to anything. And two, um, I wanted to see if I could get a, a, a larger piece of copper wire. So I went shopping this morning at Home Depot and I found this. Quite pleased with this. This is six gauge copper wire. So it's, it's pretty chunky. So I bought, uh, I don't know, three rolls of this stuff. I'm going to see if I can make uh, a cable from this. Apparently it's already annealed, but we'll see. I'm using three six gauge copper wires um, with a 3 8 heat shrink and it's in there. Oh, uh, for those people that want to know, yes, there is a ground cable connected to the metal frame. There. So if something isn't quite wired right, it should trip off the switch. So, in three, two, one. Oh, hang on. Try again. Three, two, one. Yeah, baby. Well, let me go and have a look. One. Two point seven. So, as expected, it isn't going to be as high as the last one. The last one was, uh, what was it? Can't remember actually. Two point nine. So, we're about to uh, put it back together. Everything is. It's ready as the best I can do it. Yeah. I am uh, never done this before, so I don't know how this is going to work out. Could ruin it. Well, I'll find out. welding 
It's terrible, never mind. Yeah, that one's just as bad. <clears throat> lovely. Sounds lovely, so quiet. Coming up in the next Spot Welder video, the controller circuit board. To make sure you don't miss the next video in this series, click on the subscribe button now.